Jules is working on the bathroom. We're gonna start trying to put in these cabinets right here. First things first, we're gonna have to clean the floor, right? We got these here setting just to see how they'd fit roughly. Oh, refrigerator. And what's this guy? That is the off-grid range. It takes no electricity whatsoever, but looks just like a standard kitchen oven and range. Did a little test spot right here, just using water and a rag and a lot of the mud like this turned into this. So that's pretty good. That was just a little test spot. Bam, looks a lot cleaner, huh? Man, look at that. Just some paint splatters on there. Paint roller marks. We're gonna wait to let it dry a little bit just to make sure while we check the instructions on how to install these cabinets. What? Instructions? Yes, I'm gonna check the instructions. So this is the cabinet here, right here for the sink. We're just gonna take them out of the box. We're gonna do this one, the corner one, and get an idea of kind of what, what we're doing here, what it's gonna look like. We'll watch the video about it and uh doesn't look overly difficult so we're gonna take them out get a look like i said scratching the cabinet huh yeah Ooh, it's white <laughs> are you surprised surprised <laughs> oh. it's white and light yeah, this one's actually really light, huh? Yeah, it has the, less, the least amount to it. This corner one is kind of weird when you look at it from, like, when in the non-finished position. Because it's round, actually. <laughs> instead of being square. Like a lazy Susan. Yeah. So, you can open it either way. Oh, it's upside down. Mm. Set okay. up though on the box. Well, maybe somebody had already opened it and mm. put it back in upside back down. In. Yeah, look. There's some scuff marks on mm. it. It's weird. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, hey, instructions maybe. And so then it opens like this, so you can, you have a handle here and you pull it, but you push it. And then you got all kinds of room in there. Are those the feet? Yeah. Time to put the feet on, right? Yeah, step number one, it said, attach the feet with the supplied screws. That's actually step number two. Oh, what was step number one? <laughs> step number one is to put the um, supports on the wall for the mm. uh, countertop. Well, that would be a good idea, but we haven't measured that yet. Because we're trying to put these up to see what they're going to look like. All right, so we got the feet on it. We're going to need to add some support right here for the um, toe kick that's gonna come in underneath right here and come across here and be attached to this blocking that we're gonna have to put right here. But for right now, we just wanna tip it up, set it in place and just kind of get a feel for how it's all gonna kind of go together. It's a light one, isn't it? Yeah, it's light, but I think you really need to be careful with these legs yeah. sliding it across the floor. And they're just plastic. <laughs> They're just plastic with small screws, mm -hmm. but that's why this stuff's cheap. <laughs> you know, what, what was the, what did the guy say? He said like, it could be, you could talk like 20 or $30,000 for cabinets. Yeah. Like yeah. for like good custom cabinets. Mm -hmm. This stuff here was. We definitely didn't pay you know, 30,000. <laughs> nowhere even near 10,000, nowhere near 2,000. Very much affordable. And that's where Texas. is. <laughs> Right by the wood stove, you a good boy. So sleepy. It's so warm right here. Can't get too much closer. 
So that goes somewhere right around there. Yeah. That's awesome. It's cool, huh? On the stove here. So you'll have countertop right here, countertop here on the stove. Refrigerator right there. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I guess next step, we gotta have some coffee, think about it. <laughs> and uh, then we gotta go through and do the steps that they said to go through installing these bad boys. Now that we kind of see what we've got and how they're going to actually hook to the walls and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be. I don't know if finished carpentry is going to be my, like, my thing. <laughs> it's got to be so perfect, you know? It'll be fun, though. Another surprise today, guys. Oh, yes. Jules found us a cool surprise. Not so cool, actually. Hey, Sally. Jules was coming up. Wow, dude, danger. That's where you're supposed to put, you're supposed to set. Safety Sally wasn't watching out for me. Woo. All right, so Jules came out to get some wood that we save underneath here. It's kind of scrap wood, extra wood. But look what happened, guys. Uh-oh, bad news for the solar panels. Hopefully they'll be okay, kind of expediting the move of the solar panels. I had this two by four right here screwed up to the face right here the fascia and so it was acting like a block for the panels right holding them up there because it's pretty flat anyway but apparently the snow weight trying to slide down the roof was too much for that to hold two of the panels fell off the roof the other two are up here actually the screws broke yeah the screws did break off huh yep, yep look at this right here screws broke right off this one that one right there broke off one right there broke off, one down there broke off. Yeah, so the screws broke. I huh. the board just got super, super heavy. I don't know. Maybe. But my concern, the solar panels look fine, right? They're not, they're not like broken, but the wires got pulled, right? So my concern is the wiring. We'll have to see when we, when we set them back up again. But we'll move them, we'll get them off the roof, we'll move them over to the house where we were gonna put them. We're not gonna mount them on the wall, but over there, safe location, and we'll just have to see in a little while here what happens with them. We got the two on the ground out of here, and so far, the only damage I can see is to this Y connector here. Broke this guy off here, and um, broke the little clips off right there. It's supposed to be two clips, like these little triangle clips that are in here. Not triangles, but barbed clips. So broke the barbs off, and broke this guy. That's the only damage I can see so far. Of course, any electrical connections up inside of this box right here, we won't know about until, until we hook them up again, I guess. We've got our solar panels all leaning just up here against the house for right now. Inside, we found the highest spot on the floor. Let me show you. Found the highest spot on the floor, which happened to be right here. Basically from here to here, it's level. It drops off just a little bit over here. So we marked the highest spot right here, set up the laser level, bam. And now we've got a line going around here, which shows us exactly where to mark. Chalk line is on. We're ready to start putting up the cabinets. Wow, Tex. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you see? I don't see anything. <laughs> Go back to Marty. He's not waiting for us. <laughs> I missed the stud somehow. This is the support for this the countertop. This is the support for the countertop. Yeah, it goes behind that that circle. Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan counter. Yeah, or um, cabinet. 
Yes. And we're repurposing the trim wood from our tool shed. Right. <laughs> Brittany would be so proud. Wanna come back in, little buddy? <laughs> come back in. Good boy. Did you find anything? And wipe your paws? Okay, sit down. Sit down. Wipe your paws. Good boy. That's a good boy. Next one. That's a good boy. <laughs> good job. Ooh, this stuff's been sitting around for months. We put a piece of stick in there to, look at that. It's kind of like uh, partially dried there. Oh man, I don't know if this stuff's gonna be any good. There we go. A little bit, huh? Yeah. This is the stick we were using. Just put it back in there. <laughs> Hope it'll hold again for several months. Two and five eighths. Alright. Okay. The struggle that we're having is getting this cabinet right here placed perfectly because it's not attached to this cabinet and it's really not attached to this cabinet because the stove goes right here and so getting this thing placed perfectly we've set um we set this counter where it goes or this this cabinet right here where it goes centered on the window and then we've temporarily put this cabinet here so that we can get the right distance away from the wall over here right so that these will match up right here that way this thing is set perfectly in the corner where it needs. Now, what we need to do is we need to measure this space right here, right? So we measure this space here and measure it down at the bottom. And then we've got a spacer. So then we've got this spacer right here that's gonna go in here. So it's and, like a fake front. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fake little piece of cabinet. But what has to happen is we need to rip this down to the right size, right? These just come six inches. So if you need a two inch piece, then you rip it down to two inches. Or if you need to scribe it like to a wall that's got a wave in it or something like an end piece up against the wall, then you would scribe it and it'd be a wave so it could fit right up against the wall perfectly. So that's what we need to do. We need to rip this down to the perfect size, then we can mount it in there. That's it. That's how we want to cut it. bucket in the way yeah <laughs> just at the end there yeah so this then is gonna go right in here yeah mm -hmm. bam just like that and so then we'll take our clamps we'll clamp it together pre-drill some holes on the sides screw it together it's awesome yeah it's cool man it's gonna work we drill from this side too? Yep. Okay. Right there. Yep, right there. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll have to, we'll like, you know, open it up like that. That's cool. So let's just clamp it here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And so we have one on this side. We'll have one the exact same side on the other side which we should probably just cut now while we have the saw set up. Yeah, and you know the measurement. Right. This is how the spacer comes, right? Check out the price on that bad boy. <sighs> Yikes, man. So expensive, it in is. my opinion, for this little piece of wood. I don't know. You definitely don't want to miscut it. I guess because it is, it's a specialty item, right? I mean, this is probably like five cents worth of wood or 10 cents worth of wood, 
but it's the colors got to match, you know, and it comes from the factory that makes the cabinets. So it's special. Good thing we only needed two of them. Yeah. Bam. All right. Both sides are done now. Thank you, Daryl, for the table saw, by the way. Yeah, it was super helpful. It worked awesome. Look at that. You helped build the cabinets. <laughs> okay, so this one then will go on this side of the sink just to make... To match it. Yeah, to match. So that's the same distance apart. Somebody did mention putting in a bigger window. Yeah. I have considered it. <laughs> it isn't too late, but I don't know. It seems like a lot of work right now. Maybe that can be like a next summer remodel. Remodel. Who knows, you know? <laughs> I mean, if we don't sheetrock the walls right now, we could go back and put a new window. Yeah. A bigger window in later. All right, so we got the spacers in like this. And what we did was, I'll show you on this one right here. We did the exact same thing to all of these. But we're pre-drilling a hole um, through like this. And then um, countersinking it with this bit right here. And then we're driving one of these screws in to hold it together. So you can kind of see right here what that looks like. We've got three... Three holes right here. One, two, three. Yep. <laughs> and then that's holding the counter to the spacer. Then we have the same thing on this side, holding the, the cabinet, sorry, to the spacer. And so right here, we're just going to connect these two cabinets together right here. Of course, we'll anchor it to the wall and all that. But we're putting some shims down underneath, just raising them up to the right level, making sure that everything's level. And it's coming up pretty good. Okay, that's good. Let's just check level this away. How's it look? Ooh, looks pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. So this cabinet right here actually only falls on one stud. So we'll go ahead and put some shims back here and then put a screw in to anchor it to the wall. Just go in a little bit, maybe like quarter of an inch to, yeah, about a quarter of an inch. That way we can get more bite into this side of the cabinet because let me just show you here the screws. All right, so the screw length right here, right? If it just went flush, it would go in about that far into the other cabinet. So we're countersinking them a little bit to go about that far. I'm putting them in I'm putting them in real like I mean a little bit fast at first but once I get down in there you can see the light you can see how far that head's going into the hole then I slow down and just let it go really slow because you don't want to strip it out or split the wood or something here we go bam all right Jules wow that's great uh, yeah cabinets yeah, that's, that's beautiful, cool. man. So beautiful. What we can do is um, take this cabinet out now and then put the stove there and then put that cabinet in, then put the refrigerator in, put it in a spot anyway. Cool. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We could get out of town. If you're looking for an off-grid range, right, one that takes zero electricity, because a lot of the ranges 
have a igniter for the oven that is going to take a ton of power. Plus they have a phantom load, right, with the computer that runs it. This guy right here, no computer, no electricity, but it has a spark igniter. Check it out. This is a GE hot point, right? Right here, you've got your four burners up top, but it's just like a regular budget model GE oven. All this is all the stuff that you gotta put on it. But let me show you this down here in the broiler area, right here, nine volt alkaline battery plugs right in there. And that's all the power it takes. Spark igniters right here, right, for safety and one for the oven as well. There's a, there's a plus and a minus to this oven. The minus is definitely, it doesn't look very cool. It's just plain Jane white. Not like the unique ovens or the premier ovens that you can get that look, I mean, they look sharp. This guy, not so much, but the price is like half the price. This thing was 400 and some odd dollars versus 800 and up for a unique. Let's get the next cabinet in and open up the refrigerator. You guys would think we, we built this house on purpose or something. I mean, look at that. Of course, the fridge needs to be leveled, but it is flush with the wall. Bam, baby. And then right here. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Perfect. Coming down that way. What do you think, Jules? I'm excited. It's yeah? going to be really fun. It's starting to really look like a kitchen. Yeah. Excited to get our kitchen out of the love loft. <laughs> For countertop right now, we're just gonna use um, three quarter inch OSB. We have two sheets left over. And so we'll we'll use that right here for now until we can order some countertops later down the road. These are the set four samples that we're choosing from right now. Um, so far, I think like this is definitely the darkest one and it has a little shine on it. There's really not much texture, no texture at all on this one. This one has a little bit more texture and right now Marty and I are both leaning towards this one. This one seems kind of traditional to me. It is very smooth as well. And then this one is kind of a neat looking one. I don't know, it kind of looks like a paintbrush on it, but you guys let us know. Which one do you guys like? A, B, C, or D? <laughs> I would say A, B, C, or D. What did I say? You said A, B, C, or D, but a, B, C, D? Yeah. Is that what I said? Yeah, but I explained them in that order. Okay, so let's go A, <laughs> B, C, D. <laughs> now they're going to be really confused. Is that right? That's the order that I showed them. Okay. Anyways, you guys tell us which one you like.